It's Christmas! <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I'm going straight into it because this is going to be a quick one. I'm not even going to lie. It's a lazy day today, but I've got this brioche loaf that I basically need to use and get rid of. So I'm going to make like a bread pudding sort of vibe. So I've got some of my bread here and then I've also got a little dish that I'm basically going to assemble it all in but you guys are going to just watch me make it and if you guys really want it then of course I will share the full recipe but you're basically watching watching me get down in the kitchen today so let's bring you in. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to literally take a few slices of this. I'll do it two at a time. And I want to cube them, so I'm just going to slice into three. And then I'm going to slice into three again. And then those bits of bread, I'm just going to take this bowl and put the bread in here so once all my bread pieces are cubed up we're going to work on our i think it's called a custard but it's basically our egg and milk batter basically into three and then cut into three again very simple all full of bread <coughs> it all in. You're just going to crack two eggs into a bowl and you want to add some milk. Again, I never do anything to measurement, it's more eye level but work with me guys, work with me. Then we're also going to add some ground cinnamon. That will be about a quarter teaspoon maybe half a teaspoon actually because we want it to have that nice flavor in there if i didn't say already i feel like i haven't yet um we're doing cinnamon roll style bread pudding basically so that's what's inspiring these flavors so we just want to get this whisked up could have used a bigger bowl but you know you know you know Keep on mixing that up. Don't worry too much about the cinnamon. What I should have actually done is added it afterwards. But it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. We're kind of experimenting here with this one. So you guys can work with me and we'll see how this turns out. Okay. So once you've got that all mixed in. And the reason why I'm not adding butter now is because we're going to add butter later as well. So if anyone knows already how to make a bread pudding, I'm kind of freestyling with this. So then you want to get your bread and you're going to pour this whole mixture onto it. And then you can either use your hands or use a spoon. I'm going to go with the spoon method and just mix it all in so that they can get coated and we're going to leave it to sit for a few minutes as well just so that they're well soaked into this batter so just make sure it's all mixed like so and once you've mixed that all in ah oh, no i forgot i actually forgot a very important bit of it and I'm going to add it now so if you think I'm crazy bear with me a little bit of vanilla flavoring just a few drops 
then we're going to mix that in now as well. Mix that all in. Then, yeah, as I said, we're going to let it sit just so that it can soak before we bake it. Okay. Okay, then whilst our bread is soaking, I'm just going to put in three teaspoons of brown sugar and then I'm also going to drizzle a little cinnamon powder on there okay so probably about a quarter teaspoon of that in there and just mix that up then we're also going to melt a few teaspoons of butter as well okay see quick recipe today guys quick little recipe so there is our brown sugar cinnamon mix and then we're going to now assemble our pudding we've got our tray here you can put it into like a casserole dish but i've i've decided to put it in this so we're just literally going to spoon this in here and it doesn't need to be fancy or anything just make sure it's all flattened out afterwards so we've just got to push everything around so it gets a nice base so that it can all cook through and then we just want to pour the excess over it and what I'm going to do I'm going to bake this for maybe I've got the oven at 180 so I'm going to check on it in about 10 minutes and then I'll see what I'm going to do from there but this is a proper little trial recipe guys so let's see how it turns out okay and then in this jug I've got about three to three and a half tablespoons of icing sugar or powdered sugar I'm just going to add half a teaspoon of vanilla and then we're going to add to start with a tablespoon of milk because you're not going to need too much it's better to add stir and then see so as you guys can see we're just working it into a paste first let's get it all mixed in Make sure there's no lumps. And once it's at the consistency that you want, you're good to go. This is a little, actually, you know what? No, it's not a little bit thick. I just need to keep mixing it. And then this will be good. This is the consistency we want, okay? Okay, so this is after about 10 minutes. As you can see, so what I'm going to do first is just get some butter and literally, vigorously, you don't need to be gentle, just make sure that you get a nice layer of butter on the top so that when we do our next step it's going to make so much sense guys so just get a nice layer of butter on there then once you've got your layer of butter on we're just going to get the brown sugar and cinnamon mix and you're literally just going to sprinkle a bit of that mix over the top i'm going to use two teaspoons of this mix it's just going to give it a nice glazed top then we're going to put it back in the oven until it's nice and golden brown so we'll see we'll check on it in about 10 minutes and we've puffed up we've took in look at that guys we made this in legit about 10 15 minutes and you guys know I wasn't trying to do no long recipe. I just had a sweet tooth and I thought, hmm, 
need to use this brioche bread and this is what we've got now so what we're going to do now we're going to get our little icing glaze and just glaze the top of that and then serve it but a little different one today guys you just see in a little mini tutorial quick one that you can try at home if you've got a sweet tooth over the Christmas period so yeah let's put this icing on the top Here we have our cinnamon brioche roll or cinnamon roll brioche bake. So let's get a little forkful so we can see how it looks. So we've got our bake here. I've already digged into it because I wanted to do a video on my phone. But if I just get in here, let me even lift it up. Let me lift it up so you guys can see that crispiness, mm -mm -mm. buttery, sweet, all of that. Now I'm going to taste it off camera just because I told you guys I'm in chill clothes so let me just give this a taste. Mmm, mmm, mm-hmm, definitely a cinnamon roll bread pudding. The icing on top, the sugary glaze, everything. But thanks for watching this one, guys. It was a quick one. Try this out at home if you wish. Remember to follow me on all my socials and stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. See you in the next video.